In a typical wireless network, the wireless access point broadcasts an SSID, and that stands for Service Set Identifier. But the real name that everybody uses for that is Wireless Network Name. That's what the SSID is. And it's broadcast in the clear, meaning that anybody can read those SSID packets that are sent over the airwaves. Normally, mobile devices will connect to the wireless access point by way of SSID, whether they're smartphones or tablets or laptops. When they search for wireless networks, by default, they will see any SSIDs that are being broadcast by wireless access points and then attempt to connect as long as they have the correct protocols and know the passphrase or password to get in. But what if the SSID is not being broadcast by the wireless access point? That would be known as an SSID not found issue. And with a typical operating system like Windows or Android or say iPad OS, those systems will not see those wireless networks if the SSID is not being broadcast. So we need to troubleshoot. Let's take a look at a typical wireless access point here. I'm looking at the wireless settings for the five gigahertz network. The wireless network name here, also known as the SSID, is called unknown underscore network underscore five. And we can see here that it is enabled. The SSID broadcast is working. It's checkmarked here. So if a client wanted to search for wireless networks, that client would find unknown network five. But let's take a look at wireless 2.4. This is a wireless network on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency range. The wireless network name is unknown underscore network underscore 2.4. But in this case, the SSID is not being broadcast. It's not checkmarked, so it's not enabled. So a typical client will not be able to see this wireless network when searching. So we have a couple options here. If we want the clients to connect, one, we could just check mark this and enable the SSID broadcast. Or two, we could have those clients connect manually to the SSID as long as they know the name. Let's show how to do that on a Windows system now. I'll bring up a Windows 10 system. And we'll click on our network icon down here in the notification area. And when we do, we'll see any wireless networks that are possibly available to us. And if we scroll down here all the way to the bottom, we'll see hidden network. Now you could have more than one hidden network. In this case, there's only one hidden network. So I'm going to attempt to connect to it. That hidden network most likely is the one that I have with the 2.4 gigahertz frequency range with the SSID disabled. So I'm gonna click on that now, click connect, and then it says enter the name or the SSID for the network, All right? Well, if we look back here, we'll see that's unknown underscore network underscore 2.4. So that's the name I'm going to enter in here and make sure it's typed correctly and then click next. And then you would need to make sure your system has the right protocols running. In this case, it's WPA2 and AES, which my system does. And then you also have to know the security key, the password. So we'll type that in now and next. And here it's talking about host discovery. I'm going to say no to this so that no other hosts can see my system. And now it says unknown network 2.4. It is uh, connected, but there's no internet for that currently. If we go to properties here, we'll see it is called unknown network underscore 2.4. We have a public profile, which means that our PC is hidden. We chose that during the connection. Uh, it's Wi-Fi 4, 802.11n, because it's on that 2.4 gigahertz network band. It shows our link speed, 72 megabits per second, and the IP address that we were given. So that's how you would manually connect to a wireless network.
that is not broadcasting its SSID. But in most cases, the best solution is to simply have the wireless access point broadcast the SSID. And the reason for that is because even if you have this turned off, wireless access points still broadcast a lot of packets about themselves in the clear, meaning that anyone can read those packets. So while it can be an okay security precaution, it usually just makes it more difficult for users to connect. So usually we would just want to turn it on. So I'm gonna do a couple things here. First of all, I'm gonna disconnect from this network. Click on my Wi-Fi networks here again. And uh, you can see here now that internet is actually connected before it said internet was not. It took a moment to get the DNS and everything else. But I'm gonna disconnect from that now. Okay, so that is gone. And if you ever want to remove any connectivity and any knowledge of that network, you would do a forget on that network. So we could go to manage known networks within Wi-Fi. And if you don't know exactly how to get there, we could right click here on our network icon, go to open network and internet settings, go to Wi-Fi, and then go to manage known networks. But usually if you're working with a Wi-Fi network in Windows 10 or 11, it will automatically bring you to the Wi-Fi screen. So I'm gonna click on Manage Known Networks and we see the Unknown Network 2.4 that I connected to previously. I'll click on that and I'll say Forget. We'll forget that all together. Close out of Wi-Fi. And now let's jump over to the wireless router again. And now I want to enable that SSID broadcast. So we'll click on that now. We'll click Save. And for most devices, you'll have to reboot that uh, router, Soho router, wireless access point, whatever it might be. So we'll click here to reboot, click on reboot, and we'll speed through this as it restarts. Okay, that's complete. And I wanna log back in just to check and make sure that that wireless network indeed is enabled and that the SSID is broadcasting. It is, it is checkmarked. So let's go back over to the Windows 10 system. We'll click on our network icon here. And here it is, unknown underscore network underscore 2.4. And now we could connect to that however we like and whenever we like. So when dealing with an SSID not found issue, it means that the wireless access point is not broadcasting the SSID name, the wireless network name in the clear. And that means devices cannot connect. So you have those two options. You can either re-enable SSID broadcasting or connect from those devices manually as long as you know the exact name of the wireless network.